All right, guys, welcome back to Timber Boring. We have a little bit of a dilemma right now because I've been out the Timber Boring loop for some time. And I recorded the previous video, which was this one, on the 14th of September. And you guys received it yesterday as of the 17th. And me not knowing there was an update which was inbound. But when I try to load that save, I get this message. This save version is not compatible with the current game version. Loading the save may result in a crash and you may encounter game breaking bugs. We strongly recommend starting a new game to fully enjoy the new features. But do not worry because we wasn't that far within the Timberborn series. It was literally the first episode. But hey, oh, I'm one of these that I like to start from the beginning with a new update. So why not? So welcome to Bad Water in update 5 of Timberborn. Bad Water introduces new water source, which looks like nuclear waste and can affect our farms. And yes, it can affect our beavers. Look how sad he is. But we need to start looking into engineering it. Utilize it in with current new buildings. Uh, some recipes have changed. And we need to make sure that we control the flow of the water from clear to what I'm going to call nuclear waste. It might not be nuclear waste, but that's what I'm going to call it anyway. And we just kind of need to live with it now within our beaver colony. So without further ado, I guess let's start a brand new game. And welcome again to Timberborn. And remember, if you enjoy these videos, to like, subscribe, and also leave a comment. So just like in the uh, the first episode we initially did, we are going to go back with the Forktails, and I think we're going to jump on to this map right here, which is called the Lakes. I believe the one we were just on was the Plains, and if you was you know playing on that one before, we can kind of see uh, all these new bad waters that have been uh, added to the game now, and these sources and all that kind of good stuff. But we've got to keep in mind there is something now with seasons, but we'll talk about that later on. So we're going to name this colony spoon topia because i can't do spoonville because it's been taken by another save so let's click okay and let's start a brand new save and we can see we already have our beavers out and it's a little bit of a different kind of area we have right here uh and uh we've got some trees up here we do have some stairs right next to us we have some trees over here as well trees and some berries we have the river that comes down here um it doesn't seem like there's a lot of flow with this river. Um, we do have a barricade here um, and all that good stuff. So we've got to think about... I don't see any bad water tides. Are there any? Oh, there's one here. So here's one of them. You can see how it merges and takes over the river. So obviously we don't want to drink this and or get our beavers into that. So we want to start utilizing that soon within some of the new buildings, which I've not really seen myself yet. But I'm looking forward to getting my hands on. So the first thing, as always, we're going to get our lumberjack. And uh, I guess we'll stick him up here um, with these trees. Um, we'll put one there. Maybe I want to try and get as much logs as possible. Because we want to try and get to lumber the, or planks as soon as possible. Just so we can start getting the forester down and start getting all that stuff. So I know that you, some of you might have watched last, the last video and this video. I might be repeating myself. But I apologize it's a new playthrough, so just kind of bear with me. I, uh, I hopefully you, uh, you understand. So we're gonna put down a couple of um, uh, what's it called here? Forestry posts. I think I'm gonna put down the two. Maybe I put the three down because I don't think this one can reach up there. Not really. Um, let's get yeah, we want let's get the wood as fast as we can. So let's put another one up here as well, uh, and we'll start grabbing some paths. I'll grab you over here, like oh, like so take you straight up get you over there and then we'll just take i guess one straight down into that one and you over here like this next up we want to start obviously getting water down so we want to get some water so we'll put one to there and maybe a water storage at the side of that we'll put you there just like that and then we want to look at food so we want to grab some berries so we'll get a berry bush right here uh, and we'll bring you around like so that's it. enough room right there to actually put down a medium warehouse and we'll give that one by clicking here and choosing berries uh, so we'll do that so we've got berries being collected here uh, we do actually want to assign the trees to be cut down because if not bits you're going to be a big spoon aren't you and uh, 
not getting any wood and just waste waste away uh the next thing i want to do is start working on the science so let's get uh let's uh let's tuck him away back here yeah why not tuck him away back there we'll get a path that comes around here like so uh, we are using the fork tails as well so it does mean we have to they are going to reproduce them uh automatically so we need to keep an eye on that and i would like to possibly oh i need to uh Put a path there, Bitsy. One of you is, is at least shouting at me right now, going, Bitsy, you missed the path. But let's get a farm down as well. Uh, food. Um, a efficient farmhouse. And if we hit F now, we can actually flip these buildings, which is actually pretty decent. Uh, I saw it in the patch notes. that, And, and it was a pain in the book because only the houses was able to be flipped. Um, I don't think on the Iron Thief, the Iron Thief's house are in enough symmetrical anyway. But especially with the uh, the builder balls, we can now hit the F key and we can see it kind of kind of flipping around like this. So we're gonna put a farmhouse down and we're gonna get some uh, some f plants growing here. I guess we can go with carrots straight off the bat, and then soon we'll start looking into jacket potatoes. So I know some of you were mentioning on the previous video as well that you've never even heard of Timberborn and that you're you know you're interested in playing it and. Uh, by all means, uh, like, now's a good time. Like, uh, I did a, a stream on it the other day as well, and uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm starting to get my uh, my my addiction setting in because I want to... There's, there's been times where my beavers keep dying, and I'm like, I want to build it up. I want them to be better, and I want to build a big colony, and I keep getting um, too focused, and my beavers keep multiplying and multiplying, I don't have enough food or water for them, so I am determined to get far in this game. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this uh, series as well. And remember, if you want to see more, hit that like button. Uh, I, 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 I don't, you know, ask for it multiple times throughout the video. Um, you know, but it goes a long way and it shows that you want to see more of these videos. But I really do appreciate it. So let's crack on here. So now... We've got the carrots being milled. We do need to possibly look at housing, um, but I don't really want to do that yet just because I think they can survive a couple of days, right, on the floor. <laughs> I know it sounds bad, but I would like to look into the lumber mill and the forestry is going to cost 60 research points and nobody's building on that yet because I've not put a path there. So let's get that done. And then what we're going to look at is... Um, got to think about space in here, right? So our houses can only handle three people, but obviously we can they can stack and all this and that. So I'm just wondering if we build like a block of flats here. So we have in total 12 people, so we can put down one, two, three. Uh, I guess I can make them like this. So if you notice, like the doorways are, uh, are here, but if we press F now, we can flip it. Uh, but before there used to be a second variant of this house and it was a flipped version, so they've obviously removed the key for that now uh, and give us a hotkey instead. Um, now we're going to put down a path between this, like so, and get them built in. Um, I, I'm just wondering if to maybe... Uh, I did say I didn't want to really... Yeah, let's put them in the houses. Why not? I do want to kind of prioritize this water right now. So we're going to sign the priorities and make sure that one of them is being built and then the farm afterwards so we'll make that as a less priority uh, and hopefully that gets done pretty soon so we can uh, see we have one person that does not have a job right now and there is two people currently working in the um the district center and we have three people chopping down trees and one doing the berries so the water's up and running which is good so we can start being hydrated it means we've got hydration and food um, we currently have 135 berries. Is that storage? Oh, the storage is not complete, right? Can that store 135 or 20? Where's the storage? Oh, the berries. Ah, we have the starting goods. I uh, totally forgot about that. So now that we've got these trees being cut down, these aren't even done. I would like to maybe possibly look at immediately getting... Because we are going to have a drought soon, right? It might only be for one day, or so it could be for three days. But I maybe would like to get down a dam as soon as possible. Just so we can kind of get um, 
some water trapped in here if, if, if it does happen. So let's kind of make speed this across here. And we'll kind of focus this as a priority. Otherwise, our farm's going to get dehydrated, you know. Um, and then we can kind of push this back later and start spreading these farms down in this direction. Um, but for housing, we'll keep over here right now. And I might even put my houses up here at some point. One thing I don't want to do is put them too far away from the district centre. And because it means longer travels, which means going to, you know, the, there's only a certain amount of times in a day, right? So imagine spending, you know, a good two hours in game to travel to their work. And then they're only working for three and then they've got to travel two hours back, you know. So it's, it's going to be a... Uh, oh, let me put some water in that. Didn't do that. So let's add water in there and add water into there. So we're off to kind of a good start right now. And it's just a matter of waiting for all of this stuff to actually physically get built okie dokie so a few days have now passed and as you can tell the dam has now been completed ready for our first drought the farm is up and running we have the carrot uh, carrot uh, the carrot storage right here uh, we have the houses that are required for our current population well technically there's one extra uh, we have our log pile right here where we can start uh, storing some log piles and we're currently sitting on 90 uh, science as well so within science i'm going to start unlocking the forester so we're going to unlock that because uh, as you know we want to put one of these down but this is going to require logs as well so we're going to put a log building down it only kind of makes sense that this is up here next to our um, logs and i'm thinking of what we're going to do because we do need to power this and this does require 50 uh, 50 power um the wheel um provides 50 so i'm actually going to put down this onto the side of this building right here so we can get this up and blood it running uh, and in doing so i do want to put down a storage also which is going to be for planks um and i think it's only for for us to possibly i could make this a little cleaner if i wanted to is by just getting the floor in we we'll demolish that because that was an accidental placement we're going to remove that just like that and then we're going to take the take this back by one and then grab ourselves a uh storage uh you and then we're going to make you into planks so assign you to planks uh it does require that this for us to power this constantly somebody has to be running on this and you know uh, you know a beaver so just as a temporary solution i'm going to set the workplace for this lumber mill to be a uh, high priority and the wheel to be high priority. I want to kind of keep these matched at all times. Um, in doing so, uh, what that's going to do is make sure that that is going to be up and running just so we can kind of get the Forester up and running as well. So I'm going to put one of these down into this location right here, I think, right next to this, because we can. I want to fill this up with the trees. Um, so I'm going to put that down there, and then we're going to get loads of trees planted by plant trees We'll just do birch trees and then later down the line, once I add another, another forester maybe, we'll look at maybe changing the trees to pine uh, and look into that uh, option. So I'll just make sure that everything's covered here. We can go a little bit longer there and we can take that up by one as well. So I'm going to put that there and take that. And see, I think it was one more on the end of that. Was it one more? It was. Three more right there. And then we'll wait for them ones to be chopped down and we can uh, continue with that. So now it's just a matter of, again, um, like with most city builders and colony builders or settlement builders, uh, whatever category you want to put them in, it's just a matter of waiting and just watching your things do what they do. So um, I'm expecting this house to be placed last because I have set this as a low priority right now. Uh, and I need to possibly look into some form of um, well-being for these maybe uh, a campfire just so we can start you know getting a bit more happiness from our beavers uh, so we can start building up our population and this is the new drought uh, image right now you can see it's a lot more visible on the screen instead of a little red box so that is coming in three days as we can tell by the time up top but we have placed down the dam just in case and it, that is um you know it will only let fluid through anything from 0.75 or above uh so we will be good for water only thing i need to do is when it becomes the drought is make sure i, I click on here and press p and what that will do that will pause the actual water pump from uh taking the water out of here 
the only time I'll turn that back on is if our water our water storage right here um, depletes, and then we'll use that to kind of make sure that our beavers are staying hydrated. So we're going to wait a few more days, and uh, I'll more than likely come back once the drought starts, but we'll see what the progress does until then. Right, so we can now see the forester is now our oh, we're starting to get some planks in here, and we have this little beaver over here just running with his little legs and uh we are about to start the drought as well which is literally a quarter of a day away so um I, what i want to do now is i want to dismantle this job because it's not needed anymore uh we, we i've got a for uh, not a forester a uh, lumberjack uh flag over here so we can start getting some more trees at, uh, you know um because we're flying through all of these trees um that need chopping to be honest um but hopefully now i want to set this to the highest priority because we want to get these down um, but I've just realized I've not actually put a pathway to that. So let's add that down there. And uh, maybe in the future, I'll put a second one here uh, to get this done faster and maybe an extra uh, lumber. But the drought has now started. We should be fine. But what I am going to do is just allow this water to continue pumping uh, maybe for the um, about half of this day um, until this dries up just so we can maybe fill that up a little bit more and then once that happens we can then turn that off so we'll hit pause on that it does mean uh, we still have three jobs available uh, we have currently had a child uh, it seems because we are on now th uh, what 13 residents um so Things are growing very, very slowly. And just to clarify from my experience in playing this, you know, somebody else might have a different opinion, is take your time with Timberborn because it is it can be very, very painful and it could rapidly, rapidly go wrong with the slightest mistake. Um, most of the, uh, on the Twitch streams the other day, uh, I was sitting around 40 to 50 beavers and I made the simplest timing error wrong with one of my dams. And it, my whole farms died. I had no water for eight days. It was insane. And I went from like 48 beavers all the way down to 11. Uh, all because I made the simplest of errors. Uh, because I'm a spoon, it happens. Uh, but I've just noticed as well, I think a couple of beavers are um, got some chipped teeth. So I'm going to uh, put some grindstones down. Uh, two of them, there to be precise. Uh, and get them being made. Uh, so we can take care of our beaver's teeth. And you can see him grinding away there, fixing his teeth up. Look at him. They're so adorable, right? <laughs> Whoever thought that you'll ever play a beaver colony sim and it it have the mechanics of this sort of game, and it's they've, the developers have done this game really, really well. Like, really, really, really well. Hello, bits his tongue. Can you get out the way, please? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Okay, so our water is now coming back in. The drought has officially ended. It was only for two days, so it was super quick. But what I did obviously notice, because we do have a forester here, um, and the water is being chopped down in this location, there's no water up here, so all this is drying up. So what we need to look into doing is keeping this up here moisturized or, or moist while a drought is happening so we can kind of keep the trees growing otherwise it's only going to be on this side of this upper shelf up here that will uh, have the trees growing so i'm thinking we need to look into possibly creating a uh, a, a dam or something up here um kind of a thing and just see what's gonna work um what i'm thinking is either um I create a like barricade from here to along here. Uh, no, from like here to here. So kind of create like this as a turning point here. And then this river to come down this way, straight down there. And then maybe have this blocked off. Uh, and then because there is bad water events, and this is where I'll pick up on the seasons that are coming involved with, uh, with this update five. There is uh, a tidal season so a bad water tidal season and what that does it turns all your blue water sources into the nuclear um 
tidal, the tidal bad water stuff. So all of your blue will then eventually change to red whilst that, that season is happening. So it's the we need to look into keeping hold of the blue whilst diverting. So what I'm thinking about doing is opening this up right here to allow that through there. If we do do what I'm going to do over here uh, is block this off. So we have a river going through here. And then if the bad water does come, we can shut it off maybe from this location and divert the red water that way. Keep all this fresh water uh, and so on. Uh, and then same with here, divert the red water that way kind of a thing. Maybe that's what I'll look into. Uh, if you guys have got a, a better solution, please let me know in the comments. Uh, I, I do kind of read all of them and I'll make sure I answer them all as well. So um, so let's kind of get the time going here. Uh, we have, we are pretty good now for the water. That, like, like I said, we've got the dam up. We are good for food. Uh, we could do with some more carrots maybe. Um, but I think that's just going to come with more beavers. And we can see now we're currently sitting on 17. That's f with five children as well. Um, so we have got only one farmer right now. That's because I've set some high priorities up here. So what I'm going to do now is because we have the planks, I'm going to put this back to normal and that back to normal. And then I'm hopefully I want to put this, raise this up because I do want more farmers to come in. Uh, oh, and I forgot to turn the water pump on. So. That's kind of essential. I'm thinking about maybe putting in a second one down, in fact. Maybe some more storage as well. That could be uh, something I look into, like, right now. Where is my storage? Oh, it's right there. Maybe I'll just put them... Let's get a couple more storage. Uh, if we have to, we like we can put some more water pumps here. We can take a bridge across the like this location, across here. Maybe put some more water pumps on this side. Um, I did notice as well there is... A water source up here on this hill uh, so we need to keep an eye on that and uh, see what's happening here because with this being a water source uh, a bad water source up here um, that's a permanent thing so there's always going to be bad water coming down here so maybe this is something where we extract uh, the bad water from um, maybe we'll see we'll see what happens okay so things are moving on quite nicely right now and I am looking uh, actually let's remove this guy from here he doesn't need a job anymore um, but let's, um, I was looking at, like I was saying, is looking at sorting this water out here, but it's going to cost quite a bit of resource points because um, we're going to need the landscaping, right? We're going to need the uh, the levees and we're also going to need the floodgates. And that right there is 270 science points. And we're also going to need the uh, the platforms as well. And that's 100. So that's going to be another 100. So we're technically, we're, what, 220 away Uh from what we need as a goal for a tech. Um, I would like to put the uh, floodgates down here. Maybe I should get the floodgates first. Maybe that's the first thing we do. At least we can get, kind of get some construction going. So let's unlock the floodgate. Let's get that going. And then, um, because we only need to get the planks up and running now, which we have done, which is good. And then we're gonna put these down in this location here like that my only problem is right now is they're down but they can't cross over there because i don't have the walkways um but i want to kind of put that there oh, actually i could have put it down over here um yeah let's do that let's remove these from here because if a um the bad water does come in here it will collect in this area which is something we don't want to do um and it means we're going to have to try and push it out of here or allow it into the clean area. So let's push these floodgates right up to here. And hopefully they can do that. And then we're going to open this one up as well. So we're going to come, we're going to demolish that. And we're going to put a floodgate here so we can control the water in there also. Um, I do need to get some uh, a pathway along here. So let's just do that and bring that in here. I'm going to bring, yeah, bring that to there. That'll do fine. We can actually get rid of that little piece. And we should be good. So they're going to kind of place that down as far as they can. I think they might be able to only just do this one here, but they will for surely be able to demolish this. So that means the water will push along here. And because we are controlling this right here, it does like, it does possibly mean in the future, we could possibly look at making this as, uh, like demolishing this here. Uh, no. Demolishing 
like this whole strip here, for example, if I just get my tool out um, to demolish, like everything from here to there, like the landscape, I remove that. And then we fill in this area. It kind of creates like a tunnel, kind of like a, a funnel kind of thing. And we can put some wheels in here because uh, all the water will push through, right? So that can give us a good little bit of power. Um, but right now we're kind of waiting on more science, which we need 100 for, which I don't have yet, which will come with, with time. Uh, but right now I might even look at making these floodgates, but because these are floodgates, no, these are... Yeah, this could be a waste of resources, isn't it, really? Hmm. I need to think about it. I need to think about it. Right, so we've got another drought approaching. As literally, I was I was putting down... I've got a second inventor building being uh, constructed right there. So we can kind of speed up the process a little bit. But I do kind of need to make that a bit more of a priority. So we'll kind of just do that. Get more research points coming in. But we do have a drought coming in, which is... Uh, I'm not worried about too much. Um, it, I kind of like it when the drought happens because it kind of switches our workforce uh, because obviously with me turning these buildings off they're then allowed to go and move to another building that might require some help uh, which is not too bad especially when it comes to I might even throw them onto the farming so they can help um, plant a little bit quicker maybe harvest the, the, the crops a little quicker so they can get plant more and all that kind of good stuff but right now we're kind of sitting good on a good chunk of carrots I'm not seeing any problems with food. I'm not seeing any problems with water currently as well. Um, like they're all full and we're, and we're keeping tip top. We are having some newborns coming in, people being adults, people, beavers being adults. Our log storage is filling up as well. And uh, everything is is on is, is on a good track right now. And the only thing that's letting us down is science for us to advance. All right, so now we've got the new science to unlock the platforms. So let's get that unlocked. And then we're just gonna bring the platforms just behind this right here and i'm just going to do a bit of a pathway uh along there just like that and i'm actually going to bring this back a little bit here as well because i don't think it's going to be uh needed right now like that bring the pathway there we can even take that possibly across there in the future in case we want to unlock this or maybe build something over here with a, regarding another district i'm also going to come to this location as well and i'm going to place down the foundations to go across there the walkways i should say not foundations so they can kind of look at possibly exploring this in the future and then i'm going to come over here as well and um how do i want to kind of do this um we kind of want this water to be separate from this water um so it looks like i'm going to have to build that across there like so and then we're going to dismantle the foliage Say so from here to there. Uh, yeah. And then I'm going to get the walkways. So if I was to put this as a barrier, which will be a, a, a levy. Okay, I think I, I'm pretty, announced, pretty sure that's how they're pronounced. Um, but we have got a drought started now. So let's kind of turn our current water supply off. Um, let that do its thing. This is about to come down. And then we can look into adding the walkway. Uh, let's say uh, we go, if we build a wall there, it comes across here uh, like so. We were to take that into that position like that. Is that going to be, it might be a bit awkward. Maybe we cut this down a little bit, kind of like this, maybe. Yeah. And then we'll kind of do that so they can kind of walk into that area. And then we're going to grab our dismantle tool and dismantle that piece. Yep. And then dismantle that piece. We can kind of go like that. And then I do want to put floodgates here in case we do want to open it. Um, maybe I put it into this corner here. No, that would be a bit awkward, won't it, because of the... Well, it'll still work, I guess. It'll still work. Um, but yeah, now that we've got that, we want to wait until we get... How much science points for them? 120. So I want to get the path being constructed across there so we can start removing these. 
and build a path there because it's going to come, come along here like this and uh yeah that should be pretty good and we have all of this here for this water to push through here if it if it is one of the uh, the lethal uh floods we can just divert it along there but we do need to remove this right here so we can allow that to go through so i guess for now i'm just gonna do that that and that so we can get access to that put a pathway across here like so like this and then mark these for deletion like that and then we should be fine and dandy and i can put the barriers up here into this area so we can control the flow of that water uh, i might have to build it too high maybe actually no one high should be fine because this is one high but it just depends on how rapid this turns here and uh yeah we should we should be good all right so some time has passed and we can see that this construction is now way underway uh, and what i'm looking at now because we've got 300 resource points is i want to start looking at the the uh levees uh and i also want to look at unlocking some stirs because you're going to notice a few changes here what i've done is i've made a strip for deconstruction right here because i want to bring this pathway straight across here because if we go into paths and go to place one down and if we look here we can see how red the actual line is on this like bridge we're building and that is just because of the distance from they have to walk from here all the way over to the district so i thought for just for a little quicker route we can take this into this direction like so uh, and then take them well technically if i remove that one as well up here like that and then they can make a strip across there make a bridge so it's a little bit easier and i'm expecting to slow down somewhere up in this kind of area now now that we've also unlocked the le levees as well um i want to start adding them in for construction so can i gonna go like this hopefully this works take that across there and obviously that's gonna get removed as well so if we demolish that one wait can i demolish that oh it's not even been built yet has it uh, if we demolish that and we demolish that and we put the wall back in there we can actually put the footpath on top of that as well so we're going to do that and i'm thinking about changing uh this one this one and this one over to floodgates so we're going to grab some floodgates here and we're going to put uh these down in this location so we can allow water into this area if necessary um i don't know if these will synchronize because they're not technically touching the sides um you know just to be on the safe side i'm gonna throw them into this area here into this section i've just done that i've just done that so awkwardly deleting them um where was i going here put them into there yeah like so bring that to there and then put these three here like that then we can allow the water into that section then um so yeah that should be good i think um it's all science and trying it all out and seeing what works and what doesn't work uh, but i've also added an additional uh logging camp here to try and chop these down a little quicker because they're growing more than well faster than they're actually chopping so I'm, i feel like a, a good three to one ratio right now might work we'll see uh, and then yeah everything seems to be good this bridge has also been created over here now across this little river we're still good for food we're still good for water um we do want to bring in some more population so what i've done is i've added some more houses on top of here so what i can do is i can get a uh, some stairs like this and then get the to go all the way in just like that and then make sure we've got a pathway into them houses as well so we can start bringing in some more residents and then if that starts filling up we definitely need to look into the like the whole jacket potato and potato farm and all that kind of good stuff as well
All right, so after many days later and coming to an end of a drought as well, we can finally see the construction over here has now been completed. The beavers have been hard at work, and I think it's time we can see how the water floor is going to work here. So right now we have this one which is blocking this direction, but we'll open it in case of emergencies. And this one is currently set to down as well. So we should see some water flow into here and come down this route, but then also be in there as storage. Uh, so I can kind of close this off when there's a drought. Um, and it does mean that this water will go down a lot quicker than this one. But this is kind of the priority down here because this is where the food and the, the water comes from. So if we can fill this section here, um, when there's a, well, just before there's a drought or get it to a higher level, of course, um, by maybe putting some gates here so we can kind of keep this up. Um, what will that do? It'll keep the trees hydrated here, but then also the water's coming down here now, and this will do a left and turn that way as well. But if I wanted to, I can open these floodgates like this, and the water will then come into there in case we need any form of water as well. But the water's coming down this way, uh, and then that will be our source of water. Um, because right now the main problem is is this water over here this river is a lot lower than this one so this water is obviously going with gravity and going into this section which means even if right now another drought comes unfortunately this will still get depleted because this one will fill up quicker which means it'll go over that one so eventually when i get dynamite i want to get this whole section here and take it down by one level if we take that one by one level this is all one level meaning that'd be a big nice little uh you know reservoir right when a drought comes but when the floor's back it'll then turn back into a river so i think right now we're in a very very good position and i think that's a good place for us to leave off as well so check out my other content right here i appreciate you all and uh thank you so much for enjoying the content i've been putting out recently as well uh much love keep smiling and i'll see you in another video